Hello, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to use multicam editing in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2018. It's a very powerful tool that will save you lots of time, especially when you are editing music videos for media studies and also in certain instances in film studies as well. So what you do is, in this instance, I had three separate cameras filming our two subjects here. I had one with a two shot, I had the camera on the left, and the female subject is on the left of the screen. And when I switch to the right, she is still on the left side of the screen. So that's adhering to the 180 degree rule. If you were doing um, a music video and you only had one camera, you would perform the music video um, three or four times to the whole music track and it would work in exactly the same way. What I've done is I've made a new folder. So that was here and I called it Multicam. So I did that just before I started this video. And then I put these three camera shots within this multicam folder here. You select the three clips and then you right click on the three clips. Let's get the right click there. You right click and you say create multi camera source sequence. Now it's gonna open this dialog box. I would suggest you synchronize the three clips via the audio. Now in this instance, I had a student with a clapperboard just processing the clips now. And the uh, student clapped, so he made a loud clapping sound, and that would make, make the three clips easily synchronized. So it's created this sequence here. I drag and drop to the timeline. Now it looks, it appears like it's one clip. What you need to do is click here, button editor, and you need to drag the toggle multicam camera view icon to this part here. Okay, then when you select it, you will see if I move the playhead here, these are the three clips that we shot and they are completely synchronized. So what you do is you press play of this part here, just here. Now as you play, camera one is assigned to number one on the keyboard, camera two is assigned to number two on the keyboard, camera three is assigned to button number three on the keyboard. And as you play, you switch between the two cameras. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can hear, you can actually visually see the uh, where the clapperboard goes off. So I'm going to start with my two shot. So I'm going to press number one on the keyboard now. Last film you saw the plot? Um, last film I saw was Shadow Island. Oh, I thought it was in that, but it was my time, so I found it all. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to press stop there. Now, as we were playing back, you could see that there were red uh, squares that were highlighting on the different cameras, and that has actually recorded my actions. But the best thing about it is, is that it's non-destructive. So if I press play now, you will see that in the right side of the window is playing from the timeline. But I can also correct myself. So if you accidentally press the wrong camera or you want to move the edit left or right, I'm going to show you two tricks. So let's press play again. <laughs> so I, uh, the female subject is talking. So I'm going to zoom into the timeline there. And instead of seeing the reaction shot, it's best that we see her talk. So if I go back to here, I use my... If I click here, I can go to rolling edit tool and I can bring this edit further back to where she's asking the question, <laughs> responding to the question. And you can also, so say I wanted to change this uh, part of the clip to camera one, I would select this portion, press number one on the keyboard, and then it would remember my edit decision. So let's do that again. <laughs> okay, so if I want to go back to where the uh, 
the student to the right asks, do you come here often? I would put the playhead here, and then I would select on camera two, and it should create a new edit. Okay, so that's a very quick example of how to use multicam editing. As soon as you are happy with the edit, you can export the timeline, which I've shown you how to do in another video. Just remember, you can re-change the uh, cameras from between one, two, and three. You can also have a fourth camera as well. And also you can use the rolling edit tool if you're not happy where the edit lands. Okay, as always, any questions, please email me or see me in class. Thank you, bye.